Big week, huh? So basketball. Big week. Speaking, yeah. So basketball. Let's start off with this. Uh, obviously, some crazy trades came up, but um, we did get a Woj tweet Uh-oh, in the a process of recording. No trade yet, but interesting note for the first time this entire season: Russell Westbrook. Westbrook missed it all. What? What? Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Yes, that was intentional. I'm funny. I know. Um, Russell Westbrook is out tonight with the lower back tightness. For the first time this season, he's out. Uh, could actually be lower back tightness, or it could be Russell Westbrook's on the move. Yeah, so the trade deadline, the Woj bomb there. Uh, you know, the Ru- Ru- blah, 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 blah. Russell Westbrook. Say that Westbrook. five times. Westbrook, yes. Russell Westbrook. Just talk about how he's worked on his game. He, uh, him going to LA, I, I was anti. I thought that was, that was I mean, everybody, move. it was overkill. Everyone who's not a Lakers fan, much. which is like 70% of the or basketball world, and then there's that hardcore, it's kind of like the Cowboys. Everyone, you either love them or you hate them kind of thing. Anyway, with the Lakers, but I was not a fan of that, of that move at all. Even unbiased i thought that it was not going to work i thought it was weird i thought the original trade that they had set up with healed going to the lakers um which was the original trade that got shot down before the russell westbrook thing happened yeah um would have been a better fit for what how the lakers play and spacing the floor and now it's ironic that uh rest blah, westbrook west russell westbrook westbrook russell westbrook westbrook exactly. Russell, russell westbrook <laughs> yeah that Russ is going to get traded most likely. We'll see, but they're talking about trading him to, I guess, back to Houston, Houston <laughs> to get John Wall back to Houston because Houston's a dumpster fire, I guess. So, yeah, that's nuts. It is definitely interesting. Look, the way I see it, it's like when you go to a dessert bar and you're like, God, yes, you can have anything you want. So you start like you put one scoop. This is good. Two scoop. Okay put a bunch of sprinkles. Then you start adding like the gummy worms and gummy bears, more hot fudge, another scoop. And then it just becomes too much. And the first couple bites, first part of the season, you're enjoying it. They're doing well. LeBron's tweeting, Hey, yeah, we're old, but we're still got stuff in the tank. We're good. And then you feel the sugar in your stomach and you want to die. Well, and all the flavors start to melt together and you're like, it just turns, it's kind of like mixing colors. It all just ends up being brown. It's, it's yeah. kind of like that, um, that deal, you know, the thing that, that too makes much. me, that makes me kind of sick a little bit about this whole thing. Um, since you're talking about eating too much dessert, um, is the fact that LeBron is basically turned into the GM. Like, why do they even have a GM anymore? I guess they just have somebody to answer the phone. I mean, the GM is basically the accountant and, assistant. and yeah. And the assistant to answer the phone. And it's crazy. Cause look where we've come from. Look, like, look where we've come to, like, you know, when LeBron moved to Miami and they were picking up pieces to try to win championships and he was, help, you know, hey, let's, wouldn't it be cool if we played together kind of situation? Um, and this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. There were obviously things going on behind the scenes that facilitated that and facilitated yeah. additional players coming. And the same thing when he went to back to, to, uh, to Cleveland. But I don't feel like he had the power that he has now. And I think the NBA, man, like it's crazy how much power the players are getting. And it's not a good thing. These guys, these these, uh, GMs, that is their career. That's what they do. That's what they're supposed to be good at. Let them do their job. Do it our job. Just cover your man. Do what you're supposed to do. Try to make too many plays, and we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Just do your job. Don't try to be Jackie Moon and play basketball. Be the GM. Be the coach. Be the owner. Here, the he truly is a showman. No, okay, never mind. Right back, though. No. Okay, right back to you. Okay, give it back again. You got it. No, right back. No. You know, and I think we're getting a little into a, a point where it's getting over the top. Like even, like if you think about it, like Jordan. He never, he never did stuff like that. Like I'm sure he wanted to, and he would have loved to have ever. Nobody doesn't want the power, but you got to protect, you got to protect them from themselves. And I think this is a perfect example of that. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's too much. I, I don't know. Like I, 
I'm surprised the Lakers tr- – they won a championship. And then now they're – it's not like – to me, I don't think the rest of the league really got dangerous, you know? Like, there wasn't really, like, mega super teams being built. I mean, yeah, Brooklyn, but Brooklyn's also showing right now that too much is not a good thing. Well, and they got so too it, much drama. Yeah, and so it's just – I, the NBA works best. The NBA worked amazingly last year when it was really two stars per team, you know? Right. And that's well, the way that's that, or because of injuries, every big yeah. team only had two stars and yes, injuries played a part to that being the case, but I felt like it worked. It was exciting to watch. The playoffs were interesting. Who would have guessed Phoenix, uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. It was good. 